Hello there. Haven't seen you around here before, lady. I take you're a woman of daring if you've decided to join our little poker game. You do understand, we play for very high stakes. Anything can be wagered. And believe me, everything has been. You win? Well then, go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Marco, would you mind collecting her money and giving them the chips? Much appreciated. Jenny, be at the end of the cons. I have a feeling that things are about to get very interesting. Well, cutie, looks like it's just between you and me. Lady Luck has been smiling and down on me all night long. I say it hasn't been your night, but the truth is that you've done a far better job than everyone else at the table. Except for me, of course. They all cut their losses and ran off a while ago, which is fine by me. Sure, it prevents me from winning more of their money, but I'd rather spend the night keeping sight of your gorgeous face all to myself. Oh, be careful, cutie. That flash is easy to tell at this table. It might not reveal what card you're holding, but it certainly reveals something far more valuable to me. Jenny, I'll take two cards up the top, please. How about you, cutie? Not taking anything? Well, well. Somebody thinks they have a good hand. Tell me about yourself, cutie. What do you do for a living? Really? That doesn't sound like how most people who walk through these doors spend the day. How did you even hear about our game? Well, this just gets more and more interesting. A mysterious letter shows up out of nowhere. Do tell. An invitation with the promise of an opportunity to clear up your debts. Now, what kind of debt could you have, sweetheart? Don't tell me you've been associating with the wrong kinds of people. A brother, you say? Oh, it's the Mafia. Ah, that makes more sense. You don't appear to be the foolish type. You've been hoping to win enough money to pay off his debt and make sure no harm comes to him, is that right? Well, let's see if you can win some of that back right now. I call. Show your cards, honey. My, my, a flush. You did have a good hand, didn't you? But not quite as good enough, I'm afraid. Full house. Aces over tens. That's the last of your money, isn't it, darling? Oh, you look so sad. You know, I think your soulful expression may just cause me to cry. I don't want to see such a beautiful face suffer. You've truly really touched my heart with your blind cutie. So I'll tell you what. Let's play one more game for everything. Oh, that's not true. You do have something left to bet with. I want to play for you. One game of high cards. That's it. We each draw a single card. High cards wins. And if you win, you get all the money on the side of the table. I'm sure that's more than enough to clean your brother's debts and keep him alive. And if I win, I will personally call your brother's debtor and clear his account, and you will come with me to be my personal, shall we say, plaything. Oh no, kitty. Okay. I'll give you the sacred vow. How many is the last thing I would want to do to you? Believe me, if I win, 
You will want nothing for the rest of your life. You'll simply be mine and do as I please. Whether I want to tie you to my bed and make you a snuggle buddy, or even if I choose to make you my... mate. You'll have no say in the matter. You'll be completely mine. Either way, your brother lives death free. It's a win-win, don't you think? What do you say? Very good. Well then, let's get to it, shall we? Jenny, do you mind cutting the deck? Thank you. After you, cutie. Me first. Gallant as well as beautiful, I love it. Ah, the Queen of Hearts. What an utterly perfect card for what I have in store for you, lover. Well, you've drawn your card. Are you, are you going to reveal it? But I suppose there's no need now, is there? Your tales have been written all over your face all night, my dear. Right now it's clear that your brother gains his freedom, and you lose yours. But don't worry, sweetie. Cheer up. This could turn out to be the greatest thing that could have happened to you, if you let it. Jenny, thank you for the lovely evening as usual. Marco, would you mind wrapping up my purchase and taking her home for me, please? I have a few things to attend to. To first, in order, honor my side of the agreement and ensure my new toy's brother remains among the living. Ta-ta for now, lover. And there she is. My adorable gift to myself, all wrapped up and placed under the proverbial tree to be opened at Christmas. Of course, that's not nearly for 200 days, so it looks like you to stay wrapped up for a little while longer in order to let me unwrap you at the appropriate time. <laughs> oh, don't look so concerned. It probably won't be that long before losing these vines. It depends on my mood. Each and every day. I can be such a fickle girl. Are you comfortable? A shrug? I suppose that's fair. There's no need for Marco to gag you as well. No one could possibly hear you through these walls. But I suppose he knew I would enjoy unwrapping that part of my present myself. And now I think you should have listened to me, your new owner. I hope you don't mind if I snuggle next to you, as I am your new owner. You don't have much of a choice. However, that doesn't mean that I don't want you to like it. I truly want you to thoroughly enjoy every single aspect of your life. I want you to enjoy lying close to me like this when I gently wrap my arms around you. I want you to enjoy it when I lay in your sweet head on my chest as I'm doing now and I so want you to enjoy it when I run my fingers through your precious hair as I am doing now. My, my, sweetie, that was an intense shiver. You're thoroughly enjoying this, aren't you? I must say, that shiver thrills me. I may have to leave you tied up for like this for a very long time, if you can react this way to my pampering. But as long as you're wrapped up, that just means I will be totally, completely responsible for the well-being of my new plaything, pet, love her. Now what do I call you? I suppose that remains to be seen now, doesn't it? But I'm so going to enjoy finding out. I don't hopelessly know when I'm going to decide to undo these ties. To be fair, 
You do look incredibly cute, laying on my bed, helplessly at my mercy. Michael did a good job of tying you up, don't you think? The bow was particularly a nice touch. Maybe I won't ever want to untie my adorably sweet pet. Yes, I think I like pet for now. Now, my pet, you should know that I have some limited control of you over your situation. As to when I will untie you. But some of it depends on you now, doesn't it? If your demeanor pleases me, your bonds will come off more quickly. I need to be certain that you won't take an opportunity to welch on our bet. If I were to lose you in the bounds, no. If I were to lose in your bounds now, you may be decided free. And if you manage to succeed, all well, that would break my heart. I never want to see you leaving me, pet. Ever. You see, I have a confession to make. I've known about you for a long time now. One might say that I've been totally infatuated with you. Allow me to lay your head down so I can climb on top of you. I want to gaze into your starry eyes while I confess my dying love for you. You see, my pet, we've met before. Don't worry if you don't remember or don't recognize me. I'll regale you with the tale of your loving kindness to me the other to me another day. For now, you just need to know that I love you. I do. And I've wanted you for such a long time. I've been wanting you for several months. If you haven't been able to figure it out by now, I am a woman of extraordinary means. In fact, I have the means to purchase anything I desire. And what I have desired for a while now is you. I considered just taking you while you slept and bringing you here to me. That's how badly I wanted you. But when there are other means to achieve your goal, kidnapping is comparably messy. Comparably messy. There's so many things that could go wrong if you risk an overzealous detective who can't be bought stumbling onto the truth. No, much better to control all the variables. Poker game was mine. The deal it wasn't mine. None of the men at this table today stood a chance. Least of all, you. Every single card given out there by design. Every single card was given out there by design. The mysterious invitation you received, that was mine too. Now I will say I certainly did not know. Now I will say I certainly did not get your brother into financial difficulties with the wrong people. No, no, my pet. That was of his own design. However, when I became aware of it, I did use that information for my benefit. I knew such a kind, caring, adorably passionate woman as yourself couldn't forfeit a chance to save her brother. Even if that brother was foolish enough to get himself into such a ridiculous dilemma. And once you arrived in a game, you were mine. You just didn't know it yet. Oh, and don't worry about your brother. He's truly safe from harm. I told you that it was my sacred vow and I would never hurt you. Allowing your brother to come to harm would hurt you as surely as any physical pain that could be applied. I love you. I do so love you, my pet. And I desperately want you to love me back. Maybe not today, but someday. And I knew that leaving your brother to his own fate would severely harm my chances of ever gazing through those beautiful glowing eyes and seeing true love staring back at me. And on that note, I want you to rest on the fact that I will never, ever take advantage of my sweet, innocent, adorable little pet. But I will not simply do as I please. For example, as I remove your gag, align myself to access your sweet, tender lips. I will not take what I so desire without your full consent. If you wish for me to take my liberty with you, you must say the words, kiss me.
Say it again, Pat. One more time. <sighs> I'm sorry, my bad. I'll be back. Marco, I told you not to bother me until morning. You thought I want to know what? Uh, really? How? Jenny was in control of the- That's right. I was to draw the second card. How could I have? Never mind. Thank you, Marco. I'm glad you told me. Dear Pat, in our last game of High Card, you never revealed your card. You simply acceded to my victory. Why did you not show your card to confirm your loss? Yes, I know that you conceded, but you drew an ace, did you not? You can speak, my pet. Please, I want you to speak. I want you to be mine and believe me when I say I love you more than anything and I want you here with me forever. But I am a woman of my word. By the rules that I myself established, you won the game. You should have your money and your freedom. Please speak, my... No, I, I can't call you my pet. I don't own you. You're not mine. You're not... Why are you calming me down? You should be upset that I haven't untied you yet or released you. By the rules of the games, you won. I've lost. I've lost to you. What do you mean I won? You had the higher card. You folded? By conceding the game, you acknowledge me as the victor. You... You lost intentionally? You say you did recognize me? You remember and fell for me too ever since we met? You wish that you knew how to get a hold of me. You wanted to find me, and then you saw me at the table when you were hoping that this was a setup. When I created the stakes in the last game, you wanted me to take you. Uh, by losing to me. You say you want everything. My pet. No, my love. Let me hold you. Let me embrace you like I am now, forever. I will never let you go, I promise. I'll spend the rest of my life ensuring that you're the happiest woman alive. That is my new sacred vow, and I pledge to you. What's that? You say I can start calling you my pet again. <laughs> you really like it. <laughs> of course, my pet. Anything for you. You are my good, good girl. Now and forever. Yes, my pet. The ties. Well, I could that they... I could take them off now, but then I did just vow to you to make you the happiest woman alive. I think it might be easier to do if I leave them on for at least a little while longer, don't you think? Yes, that's what I thought, my pet. Now lay back and relax. I'm going to take very good care of you.